Greg, just your uh, overall thoughts on the game. Um, well, it, we, we've played four games, and we've given up, uh, I think it's eight goals, and played two games of down a man. Uh, and in two games, gave up a goal within, what, two minutes of sometimes one minute or two minutes from when we've uh, either equalized or gotten ahead. And uh, we, can't, we can't do that. That's just uh, that's not a formula for winning games or picking up results. Um, I thought overall, as a, as a group, our, some of our good moments were really good, and some of our bad moments were really bad. And, uh, and we've got to eliminate the bad moments, and a lot of those are on the defending side, just um, as a group uh, and also individually, just in some of our choices and lack of urgency in and around the goal to deal with things. And um, we've, got to, we've got to clean it up. We've got to get better uh, defensively, obviously. Uh, get some guys back healthy, just um, just because the options are limited. But it doesn't matter as a collective group. We gotta we gotta be stingier about uh, about protecting our goal. In terms of the good, Sebastian and Benoit had uh, positive games today, and they combined on the second goal. What did you see from them that you liked? Yeah, well, I thought that we had some moments where when we got the ball moving and we played forward and moved off of it, that um, we got we had some good combination play and we got going forward. I think. We need to continue that into their final, into the final third, and create goal-scoring chances off of it. I thought we broke down sort of the initial pressure and got into their half of the field, but then we, we tended to then kind of slow play down, and they were able to recover, and we didn't get enough maybe off of some of those opportunities. But Sebastian, I thought, was involved. He dropped into midfield a little bit more. He combined with everybody a little bit more. Um, I thought Ben, likewise, did a good job of connecting. I thought Michael started attacks and then kind of moved into the attack. Uh, but I think we then need to progress forward with some bite to try to, to finish opportunities, not, not look at those moments then to then stop, pass back, and let them recover and get behind the ball again because then we have to do it all over again. So, um, But, yeah, I mean, some guys had some, some good moments. But as a collective group, you got to play for 90 minutes. You can't make the mistakes that we made today. Uh, and you can't play with 10 men. Uh, for two games and expect to get uh, three points out of games. Does it make it even more tough to swallow the way you conceded? It seemed like it seemed like the way TFC scored were individual moments of brilliance, good passing sequence on the first goal. Mm -hmm. um, Chicago comes back and it seems like individual errors or collective errors kind of sure. led to their goals. Is that yeah? It's, an, it's very frustrating. That's kind of the sort of the moments that I'm talking about, where it's individual decisions, lack of urgency. Uh, I think on the second goal after we had just scored, um, Nick does a, a decent job of standing the guy up once he's even in our box. And there was just no urgency to close, to get a second guy there to, to help Nick to protect our goal, to force him to play backwards. Instead, we just leave Nick in a 1v1 situation. There's plenty of guys around him to step and, uh, and get support to Nick and help him out and not let him get inside. Um, instead, we just, we just stand there, and that's part of the urgency factor. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's just too, easy to get, too easy to get chances, too easy to get, uh, to get goals right now. Teams have to work a, a whole lot harder and have to play a whole lot better um, to get goals if we're going to be successful. Is it, is it as simple as saying the mindset changes after you guys score? I, I'm trying to I don't know, put into words why back-to-back -back games it's happened there you've, you've equalized or you've gone up a goal and then you know instantly the other team's back in it yeah i think we have to play with more urgency in that moment maybe that's again not the time that we need the game to look pretty that, that means we need to clear the ball when the ball needs to be cleared that means we need to work a little bit harder to to make sure we end plays or get second guys there but it's, there's got to be more urgency uh, until the game settles in again which usually takes a good five seven eight minutes um, and then we can regain control of the game but it's uh, yeah, I feel like just as a collective group we are, and individually we're just too lax and um, don't recognize the moments where we need to defend with uh, more collective urgency for sure. Before the game, Frank said that he wanted um, their young DP to come to, to really take, take guys on like Craval and, and the mm -hmm. fullbacks. Do you think they had some success breaking you guys down that way? Yeah, yeah I thought uh, uh, they did a good job in our – and transition, you know, when we had moments where we lost the ball, where we didn't need to, need to lose the ball, uh, and they were able to get him out on the counterattack. I don't necessarily think he killed us on the day. Um, I think our collective defending hurt us. Um, but I don't. I think he was able to. They were able to find him. But I actually thought Quincy Marrickwell had a better game than than him. I thought Quincy was able to, in some ways, bully our center backs and hold up too many balls and, and allow them out of pressure. Uh, and bring more guys into the attack, then, and we just uh, we didn't solve that problem, and we needed to as as individual defenders. We need to solve the problems, figure out what his strengths are, take him away from his strengths. Sometimes it's one guy, sometimes it takes a couple of guys. But uh, Quincy was allowed to get around the field and kind of do whatever he wanted, and, and way too easily. 
What about the collective mood? I guess you have to get past it, but how do you how do you go about regrouping again on another bye week and just kind of putting this this disappointing loss behind you? Yeah, the, the guys are obviously incredibly frustrated. Um, it was good actually to see some emotional outbursts because uh, that that's I think that's a good thing. Then we're we gotta we gotta come back fighting. Uh, we know we got to get down to work. Uh, we've got to cut out, obviously, some of these defensive mistakes and really emphasize uh, securing ourselves defensively, especially we still have more games on the road. So it's not like we're going to we get a home game to uh, to lick our wounds a little bit, but we're going right back on the road in a couple weeks, and it doesn't get any easier. So we'll take the ne next two weeks to, uh, again, compete and uh, have guys hopefully get healthy, which means there'll be some real healthy competition for spots on the field. Uh, and... Uh, tighten up some things defensively and continue to progress uh, in some of our attacking actions. Do you think this was maybe not the first time, but maybe the first complete game where we saw Javinko really, you know, show his class and show that um, show why you, brought you, you guys brought him here for you know what you paid for him. Yeah, well, I, I don't know if we we saw it. We've seen it in moments of each of the games, and this was, I think, a um, a more um, clear example of what he's capable of doing over longer stretches of a game. Uh, I think he's figuring again how within uh, within the league how to really impact games and affect games, and I thought he's, I think he's he's recognizing that within our team and and what ne he needs to do to help us to be at our best. And today I thought uh, he dropped into the midfield just a little bit more and wasn't quite so high, and he was able to combine with Benoit. He was able to combine a little bit with Michael. He was he was able to then face forward and combine a little bit with the forward. So he he was actually a little more of a focal point today in some of our attacking moves than maybe he's been in, uh, in previous games. And when you see that, then you, you see his qualities. If he can get facing forward, he is so quick in that first touch and to get himself accelerating and moving forward. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think he's, uh, I think today was a good step for him uh, for and for us uh, in that way. Um, but we got to keep moving forward and, and everybody else has to move forward with it. How's he doing, how's he doing dealing with the parity of this league, you know, losing, losing a few games here and there and, and just How's he doing with that? Because it's, it's a bit of a change for him, I think. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, he's like all of us. He's frustrated because we, we do the work to equalize. We do the work to go up, and we turn around and give a goal away seconds later. And uh, that's incredibly frustrating because in the grand scheme of things, it's harder to score goals than it is to prevent goals. And for us to be giving away goals like we are is very frustrating for uh, for someone like him, especially it comes from, um, obviously, Juventus in a league where defending is... Uh, very clinical, uh, and we're just giving up things that are just too soft, and it, that's incredibly frustrating for him. And uh, but I think he understands that this league, every every match is a challenge. Every match is has its own different challenge because that's just the parity, and that's just the way the league is constructed. Every team has its own identity, and it's it might be very different from one week to the next. And and when you're on the road, you gotta you gotta manage that and and give yourself a chance to win. Coach, your thoughts about their attacking style and the way that they came back after they were down a goal. Um, yeah, I, I think their attacking style was to fairly absorb a little bit of pressure from us as we uh, played within possession, look to create opportunities to counterattack. Um, and obviously they have some good speed with uh, on the flanks and uh, Ship's a, a good one-on-one -on -one player, Maloney's a good one-on-one -on -one player, uh, Com's a good one-on-one -on -one player. So through individual sort of play and individual actions, they were able to create some moments um, in transition. I thought that was the biggest thing, but at the end of the day, I didn't think that was ultimately what killed us. I thought defensive error was the, the biggest thing that hurt us today. Um, any team that counterattacks is going to have some uh, moments going the other way, but uh, we really hurt ourselves with uh, just poor defensive play.